with me later in a few days when I moved in. I realized that this half-white girl glossy from contact with all those Europeans would not fulfill the aim I had set before me. It's so funny, but it doesn't, I said to myself. But the country is not the town. And besides, is it necessary to take them in Maori fashion, Mao Saisis? And I did not know their languages. The few young girls in Matea who do not live with the Tane, man, look at you with such frankness, utterly fearless dignity, that I was really intimidated. Also, it was said that many of them were sick of that sickness which the civilized Europeans have brought them in return for their generous hospitality. After a little while, I let Tini know that I would be happy if she would return. And yet, in Papit, she had a terrible reputation. She had buried several lovers in succession. <coughs> Description. Landscape. Shoreside. Picture of the woodcutter. Inland. The mango seen against the mountain over the entrance to the impressive cave. I went that evening to smoke a cigarette on the sands by the seashore. The sun was rapidly approaching the horizon. It was beginning to hide behind the Isle of Morea, which I had on my right. Against its light, the mountain stood out in the strong black upon the blazing sky. Night came quickly. This time again, Morea was asleep. I fell asleep later in my bed. Silence of a Tahitian night. <coughs> Only the beating of my heart could be heard. The reeds of my heart and their spaced rows were visible from my bed with the moonlight filtering through them like an instrument of music. People, our ancestors called them. Vivo is there for it, but silent. It speaks at night through memories, 